thought for the day. A positive mindset brings positive things. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we take a look at how a shift in our mindset is a way to achieve better mental health. Have a listen. My breakthrough out loud. You said I had a job and it made it hard for you to live in your dream and live 360 and all of a sudden you decided to move to another environment, another city where it's cheaper to live. And then you realize that sometimes accessing your abundance actually comes from less money. Hashtag less stress, right? So I love the fact that you were able to look at, in some cases, more isn't better. In some cases, you're able to have more freedom, more joy, more love, and more bliss by choosing to have less of something else. I love it. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome. And Gabriel, you commented on the episode entitled, Why Your Ego Can Be Good right? Most of the time people talk about ego in a negative sense, but you totally got this message. You said that you've been slowly learning how to distinguish and choose when it's best for you to bring your ego and when it's best for you to operate from your source self, meaning that intuitive place, that place of servant leadership. I love it. I love when you can distinguish when ego is necessary, by the way, ego isn't bad. It's only bad when it's interrupting a divine moment. It's only bad when it's killing a relationship off. It's only bad when it's preventing you from raising your hand saying, I need help. Ego is necessary. Ego sometimes what has you stand up and say, I am the person, the right person for the job. Your ego is what you had better bring to a interview. Now don't let the ego talk you out of the interview, but you need to bring that confidence. And having your source self, that intuitive self, That's what asks you to surrender. Surrender to the calling on your life. Surrender to your greatness. And surrender to the need to have others in your life. So I love it. I love it, Gabriel, that you get that. You know, so many times when we look at health, I know I did, I look at health and we look at it from a topical perspective. And while it does manifest in our weight gain, our weight loss, it manifests in our muscle mass, it manifests in our BMI, it manifests in our body function. I think that that's the result of something else. For me, I'm not a health professional. I'm not a fitness guru. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm a woman who lived really unhealthy for a very long time and then shifted her mindset and her behaviors and now is walking in a new reality. That's what I am, so I wanna be very clear. And so the space I come from, I think, is, a, is different but I, uh, than, than a nutritionist or a fitness expert. Um, but I would love for them to begin to adopt this perspective because you're not working with a half a person that just has weight gain. You're not working with a half a person who just has a high BMI. You're not working with a quarter of a person who just has poor eating habits. If we look at the 360 person and where do our behaviors come from, all of your behaviors come from an emotional state of being. An emotional state of being comes from a mindset. So you think it, then you feel it, then you act on it. And so when we talk about living unhealthy for so long, I I love the broadness of it because people think it's just physical, but unhealthy is, oh, by the way, my mindset was unconsciously unhealthy. And the unhealthy mindset led to unhealthy habits, led to an unhealthy lifestyle, led to unhealthy results. Hashtag, I was over 80, I was over 80 pounds overweight because it was a mindset first. And so I know it's not the fun stuff. We wanna jump in and do the crunches, we wanna jump in and do the crash diet, wanna jump in and do the detox, cause we wanna lose the weight. And um, I never slingshot it back up and down with my weight. I never even lost it. <laughs> I wasn't even in the space where I can slingshot. Um, but that happens to a, a number of people. And then some of us just hold on to it. I believe that when you go to what did your weight and what did the unhealthy lifestyle give you? Did it give you an escape? Was it a comfort zone? Um, And was it something that you needed in the the moment? And to ask yourself that, you have to go in front of it and go, what started it? What started it? 
what started this? Is it my need to serve everyone else? And then this was the way I served me. Was it me putting everyone else in front of me and putting myself last? And by the time I got to my needs, I had no energy left. Was it the need to be loved by everybody? Was it, what, what were those things? Was it for me, it was being significantly hurt in a relationship and putting this jacket on called an 80 pound weight. My, my, I had an 80 pound jacket on called weight and it was my comfort zone. It allowed me to not have to completely show up. I, I was, my body brought me net attention that brought me pain. So then I thought I put this 80 pound jacket on and then I don't have to worry about that. You know, so that was my band aid. And so what was the thought, the belief, the hurt what was the fear? What was the the anger or the frustration that caused the mindset to lean into emotion, to lean into behavior? I know no one wants to do that. I'd rather get on the treadmill, but I promise you, if you've ever been on a treadmill before and lost weight and then you gained it back or you stopped, for me, I'm, I was start, stop, queen. I was start, stop, queen. I was start, stop, queen because the treadmill didn't give me the emotional healing that I was looking for. The carrots and the celery didn't give me the confidence that I had lost when I ended my abusive relationship. Um, the Weight Watchers or the Jenny Craig or the Herbalife or the whoever I was doing, there's n nothing wrong with those programs. The reason why they didn't work for me is because I wasn't convinced yet that I was worthy of having that result. And I, so why did I put on this weight? Why did I go to the refrigerator for comfort? Why did I put so many people in front of me? What was I looking for and what did I need? With no judgment of yourself, no judgment of yourself. Because you only did what you knew based on, you only did what you did based on what you knew. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.